So today is January 25th, 2010. Uh, I'm just finishing up a week of my, uh, my raw cleanse product that I did last week and I mentioned that I was starting last week. Um, it's from the Garden of Life company and I did complete it um, yesterday so uh, I guess I'll give my little review of it. Um, it was a three-step, daily three steps. You took um, a, uh, in the morning you took a little powder, you swished around in your mouth and then swallowed a probiotic solution I guess. Then you took two sets of three pills during the day with your meals for I guess like fiber um, organ detox they call it and then the third step was a like a fiber shake you took at night um, before bedtime called uh, digestion and elimination. So I completed the whole thing and my original um, intent, my original symptoms are just um, chronic bloating and irregularity, that kind of thing, and um, just never feeling quite right digestively after probably decades of abusing my digestive system. I'm not surprised that it's a little slow, but um, so I thought um, this product was an interesting thing to just try. It seemed fairly safe and uh, uh, something that might help eliminate some of those symptoms. Well, I'm sad to say that it really hasn't. Uh, in fact, it left me on a daily basis feeling pretty much more bloated than usual because at night I would, like, uh, it, says, it said to take the fiber shake uh, like an hour before bedtime and, um, you know, I usually go to bed one o'clock in the morning so I would usually have it around 11 and, um, it would just leave me feeling even more bloated at night because I wasn't, I'm not used to eating like after five o'clock at night. So, um, that, that was probably, um, one of the factors in feeling a little bloated starting my the morning the next day. And then, um, the fiber pills, I could, maybe they added a little bit of, uh, bulk or whatever, but I didn't notice any change in appetite or, um, or in any of my other symptoms. In fact, actually made me a little constipated so um, that was surprising. My diet was already pretty high in fiber anyway and so I'm wondering if maybe there's like such thing as too much fiber and having to balance that with you know enough liquids too if you're eating a lot of fiber and nothing to dissolve it and move it through then that can be an issue too. Um, but anyway I, it was worth a try but it, I don't find that it really um, did much more than a lot of my uh, smoothies and green juices do on a daily basis. And um, with regards to the symptoms I've been having over the last couple of years, um, I really feel like I'm being drawn into wanting to do some sort of fast or a juice fast maybe. Um, yet on the other hand, I'm so aware of having trying to balance that, that time for self-nurturing and also caring and nurturing my family, which is a real challenge right now. So um, I've been looking for options to maybe embark on that uh, to some degree, maybe and just try a little weekend juice fast with uh, either by myself or Darren's interested in, in giving it a try too. But um, uh, we've been researching a little bit on different options and uh, I'll, I plan if I ever get time to get online a little bit and search around for for groups or things that might offer some support in that in that uh, realm, it's a little it's a little bit of a challenging thing. If you know we're all used to eating every day and we eat not necessarily because we need to, we do so because that's what we do: breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So to change that focus and then also to go and juice fast and then be preparing um, be preparing meals for my kids, it, it can, I can see it'll be a little bit challenging. There might be some uh, frustration there, so I want I would want to set things up really well and make sure that I had things planned and and um, but it's something I look to and in, in the near future and and would like to give a try. I really, I really have a feeling that that might help kind of jumpstart things and and uh, kind of also make it easier for me to kind of get over the the plateau of where I've been weight wise and then just kind of bump it up a little bit and then. Um, get into a, a little different a little different pattern so um 
Anyway, so that's where I am with that. I'm a little disappointed that I was hoping to feel a little more cleansed, but not the case. Um, I'm sure it works for some people. Um, you know, maybe different coming from... And I, I kept a really good food journal, too, during this um, week so that I could see, um, you know, how it was affecting me compared to the amount of fiber I was already eating and, and things like that, and, and com maybe compared to other people's experiences and what they were eating. But I looked on line for reviews, and there was, on Amazon there was only uh, one review of somebody who was on day one with the cleanse product, and they the only review was like three stars, and they said it only they didn't like it because it didn't taste good. So I didn't find the taste too offensive or anything. It just didn't really change my my uh, the way I feel at all. So that's that. Um, this past weekend we did have a um, we we have a meetup.com group. A vegetarian group, and um, this past weekend we did do a uh, a potluck and showed a DVD. Um, uh, the DVD is called Eating. I think I have it here. Um, it's a really good, uh, um, I guess, chronicle of some of the um, biggest causes of diseases, disabilities, and death in the U.S. today um, from a health perspective, and and also goes into the all the environmental. Um, environmental impact of of um, an animal based diet and all that stuff but um it was a it was an interesting um, uh, dvd and it, it provoked some good discussion so that was nice um, and the book or the book i guess this was originally aired on i think pbs but or it says yeah pbs but um and it also the the book that kind of the diet that kind of um, goes along with the the DVD, the um, dietary recommendations are called the Rave Diet and Lifestyle, and I was interested to kind of look through this and um, surprised it kind of um, mirrors a lot of uh, Dr. Furman's um, uh, dietary approach um, that we originally started with a couple years ago, and and is one of the one of the big factors in Darren lowering his cholesterol like almost a hundred points um, when he started following. Dr. Furman's plan, and um, so I think we've kind of found a nice balance in our um, our diet to help maintain those numbers, um, you know, cholesterol and blood pressure and all those things. Um, with somewhere between Dr. Furman and a high raw diet, and so a lot of fruits and vegetables. Um, Dr. Furman's plan. He he's written a bunch of books, and um, I originally read um, Disease Proof Your Child. Um, it's a really great book to to look at for if you have kids. And then originally, um, Eat to Live was his um, first book and that we read. And he has another one about fasting too. But um, we read this, and this is what we followed um, starting starting out to help when Darren was prescribed um, cholesterol meds, and he decided he didn't want to take them. This is what we started with, and it did work. It dropped his cholesterol almost 100 points, so that was a big deal. So and then. He's got newer books, um, Eat, Eat for Health, um, and both of them uh, are a little bit, I guess, a little bit more, he puts a little more mainstream foods in there to help people transition to get started, but his premise is no salt, um, no added oils, those kind of things, so um, so we found, I found that the Rave Diet was kind of uh, mirroring mirroring a lot of his approach, Dr. Furman's approach, and it, I was it was an interesting, interesting read. Um, lots of good recipes in there too, and and uh, things I'll take a look at for the kids. So, so um, that was that was a a good a good experience this weekend having the potluck and trying different foods. I made um, a raw fudge out of raw cacao, and I made some raw sweet potato pudding and cooked sprouted uh, mung bean salad, which was actually, I'm surprised that the kids actually gobbled up and, and ate that too, so that was good. Um, so Darren and I are both uh, trying to clear some more space in our schedule to um, bump up our exercise a little bit and even spend a little more time together too, which has been a challenge lately. Um, but uh, we're not being too hard on ourselves though because the schedule is really busy and you know anything additional we can stick in there is a great idea. Got our total gym ready and our additional... Uh, poster and, and, and DVDs ready to, to start um, watching. Unfortunately, our DVD player broke. But um, so we're getting into that this week and just trying to keep active and keep up with our schedule and, and enjoying this uh, 
time with the kids. So there's where we are this week. Bye-bye.